arrived at the beach. Um, unfortunately, I did miss sunrise, <laughs> but it's still a beautiful view. Like, oh, and the sun sets over there. The sun is starting to come out, if you can see. That's so cute. I have been trying to come to sunrise for two Fridays now, but I just haven't been able to wake myself up at 6 a.m. because I'm just so tired. And last Friday, I accidentally woke up too late to go to sunrise. And I don't know, I think I will do this again and like actually watch the sunrise. I'm just so scared that it's going to be too dark and like I'm all by myself, but baby steps. I'm also seated next to this cute castle that someone made. Such nostalgic vibes. experience I have only gone to like watch the sun set but I don't know the vibes are just so different with the sunrise and I did not expect so many people out on the beach but all of them were like running and like jogging and I'm like that kind of sounds really nice so I think the new summer thing is waking up every Friday morning maybe a little bit more earlier than 6 maybe like 5 30 to get at the beach at 6 or like no because like sunrise starts at 6 30 we shall see but i have always lived at the beach and i never have a matching swimsuit so i was wearing this swimsuit with a blue bottom it was really giving 80s vibe you know so i'm going to try to find a cute bathing suit to wear to the beach because how do i live in a beach and don't have beach wear you know swimsuits i've always asked myself that but then again i don't really go to the beach that often because like i never have anyone to go with but this summer since we are going solo since we're basically just me myself and i and you um I'm gonna do more stuff for myself because at the end of the day, you're always going to have yourself and you're always going to be by yourself. So you gotta, you have to love your company. And I'm still learning how to do that. I do love my own company because I've always have had my own company as a child. And I'm also a cancer, so I love my time alone, but I also love spending time with friends. But yeah, today was a really nice morning. I'm gonna go to work, which is dog walking and i absolutely love dog walking it's so like peaceful and calming because like you hear all the birds and it's just so relaxing so i'm going to put on my shirt so i can go dog walk and then we're gonna have breakfast because i'm already starving While I'm dog walking, there's so many desert flower plants all around the neighborhood and there's so many that fall off the tree and there's a bunch on the streets and so I've been loving to pick them up and like put them in my hair and put them in water and they last for a week and then I go get another one. Uh, I just finished making breakfast because I'm starving and I've been craving avocado toast with egg because I haven't had that in a week. <laughs> So here she is. She's already half eaten or like semi eaten, like a quarter. And it's become a ritual to have avocado toast with egg with a mango banana smoothie. Oh, I love it. It came out so good. I love mangoes so much. Basically any tropical fruit. Oh, I feel so summery today. Like today has been a good morning. There were some bumps in the road, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Not going to let that stop me from having a good day. Like, don't let the small things ruin your whole day because you just need to focus on the good.
background this whole time my apologies anyways i thought i was not going to find any books because i didn't really pre-order them i go to my like local library because there's just a ton of books and they're free basically it's like doing a little scavenger scavenger hunt to try to find good books and i'm always like trying to read the reviews before like actually checking them out however i think i found really good six books so it's been about two weeks now and i'm editing this video and i realized that i never did a book haul so here are all the books that i got i go to the public library because i don't know it just motivates me to read consistently because like there's a deadline to return them and also i wouldn't really know what to do with so many books if i bought them yeah let me just give you like a quick little haul and tell you what i think about the books that i've read so far so this one has been one of my favorite books it's called final girls and it's such a good mystery and like thriller and there's like a really really big twist at the end and once you like trust a character it instantly breaks your trust and then regains it again and then it's just like so shocking once they reveal like the whole plot and everything and so good had me hooked on the first page so definitely recommend this and then this is the one that i'm currently reading right now it's called trust me this is another like mystery thriller and i haven't gone like that far into it but so far it's really good on my instagram i have been doing like reviews once i finish reading a book so if you're interested follow my instagram this is one of the first books that i read it's so cute it's called you and me always it was it's a little rom-com it has love comedy and such a quick read it's about like this love triangle with a pop star and her best friend when she was a child so so cute definitely definitely recommend this book and then another book that i got and i have yet to read it is this book called the brilliant life of Edora hunset i hope i'm pronouncing the name right because i butcher every name but yeah i just really liked the cover and i think this went like tiktok viral not 100 percent sure but it had very good reviews on goodreads so had to pick her up and then from the same author of you and me always i got this book called the one you really want could be closer than you think again i have yet to read this but i also think it's going to be a little rom-com and i really liked her editing style on this one so i know i'm gonna love this one and then this last book that i picked up is called the china room i read half of this and then i don't know i just couldn't really get myself to read this book i really tried because i was like well maybe it's going to like pick up in the middle but i don't know it was just really boring for me and i would take so many naps while reading this if you have any book recommendations for me um please let me know in the comments because i'm always so curious to find new books it's my current summer hobby right now, so. To want arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me. How